I just want to take a quick look at this Harbor Freight nylon trim piece removal and installation set. Um, I recently purchased this set just to be able to keep as a spare. Um, however, I've actually purchased the exact same set two or three times in the past. Um, in this particular case, I'm going to keep it in a more mobile toolbox, so I think that rubber band is going to do just fine holding this. Um, and as you can see, you get a variety of prying bits, but to be honest, the majority of the time you're going to be using this sucker right here. And it is nice that they give you essentially three of them. Well, since nylon, it does not appear to be glass fiber reinforced, and the price reflects that. They're around six, seven dollars. I do think this is a good size when you think of uh, the alternative in steel, which would probably be a small nail puller or crowbar style. And like most uh, pry bars, I would consider these a consumable. You can see that the tips get fairly fine on these. But similar to maybe like a chisel or punch set, you should expect to replace these on a somewhat regular basis just as they wear out. Perhaps the most interesting tool here is more of a spreader. Um, and you can see that these do have a fairly decent line down the middle. I would recommend um, trimming these down with a razor blade or something if you are that concerned about the trim before you go and remove interior dash or that type of thing. So my experience, I tend to get about maybe 20 jobs or so on these before they start really wearing down on me. And what I've started to get in the habit of is if this head is worn off, I'll actually just cut it off. Um, that way there's no chance I'm going to continue to use it and possibly scratch something up really bad. And just pay attention, kind of like if you're using a putty knife, um, that you still have a nice clean edge that's not going to slice into the plastic, as these can still slice um, the finer, delicate plastics that a lot of automobile trim has. Say, for example, you're trying to disconnect a battery on. These do work pretty well as a nice, safe, secure way to pull something with higher amperage off. Or if you have to poke around and maybe like a, the back of a relay box or something like that. Well, that concludes this quick review. As I mentioned before, I've used uh, multiple versions of the set over the last couple of years, and I'm pretty happy with them. I can highly recommend it for the Harbor Freight price, around five, six, seven dollars and I would advise you to pick up a set or two. Thanks for checking this video out. Feel free to check out others on my playlist. Have a good night.